Thank you for visiting us today here at Let Us Pray. I pray that this video inspires you to praise the Lord with your whole heart starting today. I believe that there are many can say that there's not one day where you don't feel the labor of the day, uh, nor that, that there's a day that didn't have its troubles that wore you out. And I believe that is the reason why Jesus gave us his promise over in Matthew 11, 28 through 30, where he says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Heavenly Father, I stand here in prayer, praying as an intercessor for those, Lord, that, that find themselves right now standing in the need of prayer, in prayer for rest, prayer for relief, prayer for uh, help in this time of, of, of a heavy burden because of a situation that they can't seem to get rid of. Lord, you sit high and you look low and you see us in troubles. You see us going through the trials and you see us going through these situations and, and circumstances. But you don't sit idly by and watch us, Lord God. You remind us in your word that there is a load bearer, a heavy load sharer, whose name is Christ Jesus, who came to lift the burdens off of us. There's some, Father, uh, when they look across the street and they see their neighbor and see they seem to be having a good day. They seem to have everything figured out. They seem to have it all taken care of. But they don't see what's going on in that person's heart and their mind where they're struggling and, and they're trying and they're on the verge of giving up. But if they only knew. But we know, Lord God, that you know us inside out, that there are many people who are faced with financial burdens and they feel that there's no way out. There's some, Lord God, are facing family problems, be it with their spouse or their children or close relatives or distant relatives who gave them a phone call, who sent them a letter to tell them of their situation. And they're looking to them for help, but they have even less. And for them, they try to carry that other relative's burden, but they're not strong enough to manage it. And so it begins to wear them out. There are so many things, Lord God, so many examples of this. It's, it's hard to articulate them all, but I do know, even for myself, Lord God, there are moments where I feel heavy laden. There's moments where I feel heavy burden. There's moments where I feel near exhaustion, just trying to make it through the day. And I have to remind myself that I don't have to carry this by myself. The world may try to make us think that, you know, you can handle it. Just do this and do that, take this and take that, and everything's going to be all right. But we know that's not the truth. If anything, it's only temporary. We need something more permanent. We need something with more permanence to it. And therefore, we need to seek your help through Christ Jesus. And come to Christ as he beckons us to. So that he can show us how to make it through. His word says, he said in your word that uh, the take of the yoke, take my yoke upon you. He said he's, he's inviting us to come join with him, Lord God. And, and these false teachings and false religions and what have you. God help those that help themselves. It, it's caused many people to suffer unneedly. Because and Jesus knows that and he tells us, 
and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. If we would take a moment and just learn from Christ Jesus, learn the things that he knows, then the burdens, they'll be lifted off of us. The, uh, the, uh, the restlessness will fade away. Because he says that we'll find rest for our souls just by coming to him. And so we come to you today, Lord God. We come to you seeking rest. We come to you seeking uh, ways to understand how to release ourselves from this spirit of burden uh, and spirit of heavy ladenness so that we may uh, live life to its fullest and, and live life in the most profitable most progressive way possible in Christ Jesus. Because his word, his his promise, his, his bow on to the present that he's given us and, and gracing us with is this. He says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Christ Jesus, show us and help us understand what it means to, to yoke with you so that whatever burden that we have to carry, it will be light. Whatever yoke that we have to uh, connect ourselves to, whatever thing, thought pattern, whatever uh, things that we need to, to do, show us how to do that so that this world and its troubles and its burdens and, uh, and all the other things that to take away a person's rest will vanish, go away. And that way we can rise up and we can go about our day and doing the things that you have called us to do in the easiest way possible. Yeah, in the easiest way possible. I pray this not only for myself and my family, but for, for the person and their family who is listening to this prayer today. And I pray that as we go forth in agreement with Christ Jesus and with one another, that immediately those who believe it and receive it will gain the rest that they most desperately need. It is in Jesus' holy name I praise you and I thank you and I glorify you. Amen. I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified of our upcoming videos like this one from let us pray. I want you to know that your act of kindness of doing that will, will be seen as a blessing to us. It, it really will, um, because what it'll do is it'll help us to spread the good news of Christ Jesus to others, and we wholeheartedly thank you for that. Until next time, be blessed. Goodbye now.